Hey guys, Lex here, back for some more Nino Kuni. Last time, we were working on some side quests, and now I'm gonna try to find this one other side quest in this forest. It should be here somewhere. And then we're gonna try to do the Coliseum or whatever it's called. That's, this isn't it. That. Where's it? Oh, it might be up there. have to go all the way around here, I think. Yeah. Run faster. Run faster. Run faster. Should be in this forest. Okay. Phew. Alright. Um... Hoot. Game pie and... I can't open this one. You're weak. <laughs> Great weapon in purple box. Our treasure now yours. <laughs> okay. Red chest here. There's somewhere. be up here. See it? I don't even see it. Oh, I don't even see Ready? it. <laughs> oh, up there. Pile of sages something. Here, let's talk to this guy. We protect our forest. Keep safe and peaceful. Do right, Mon. Monsters are known to steer well clear off forest dwellers see. Say these are the real forest guardians right here. Gee, I guess they are, but I wonder why critters are so scared of them. A great weapon. Name Royal Spear. Wow, that sounds kinda neat. You, you, we use cauldron, make weapons. You want make Royal Spear too? Huh? You could teach us how to make one? Mighty, this will be a good chance for you to practice your alchemy, Ollie boy. Let's ask him for a few pointers, shall we? The forest alchemists, the forest dwellers who live on the shipwrecked shore, say they could teach you how to make a royal spear. Good, I told you needings, needed things. Very secret. Pretty ball like glass. Two. Black metal, no rust. Two. Black stone, shiny, hard. Two. It's a bit blink and vague, is it? Kinda like, sounds like a riddle, huh? Alright, let's do our best. Come on, Trippy, it's time to find some materials. Okay. Let's check. We have it. Uh, axes, spears. Two jade marbles. Lump of raw steel. Shadow glass. See if I actually have those. That's two. Uh, is this shadow glass? And marbles. Do I have any jade marble? I don't see anything green. Okay, I just take a look, and I can't even do this quest. <laughs> I need to be able to fly. Alright, I guess this is on hold. Uh, 
but I do... Alright, let's, uh... Go here. I want to try to Kasala see him. Wait, can I even travel there? Oh, I could just teleport. Alright, let's go to Salsi and see what this is about. Now I want to go to the casino too. Uh, there's a lot of people here, what the hell? If you defeat us, we will give you all our delicious babanas. That is how confident we are that we will emerge victorious. My familiars are the best in the whole wide world! You shall not pass. Not bad, eh? I almost sound like a real Hamlin guard, don't I? Not Umbumpa first. Please speak to Master Solomon first. You don't look too much like a challenge from where I'm standing. <laughs> Underestimate the power of the feline forces in your peril. Prepare to be defeated. It is being too, too hot here, yes. It is not being fair on me poor Domte. Not like it here. Forest must return. <laughs> the finest foods and the most lavish of cages. Uh, nothing but the best will do for my prize familiars. Battle between familiars is like battle for the heart and a beautiful full senorita. Oh. Do you wish to ask for my hand? I'll not accept only the strongest suitors. Do you like my outfit? I'm sure I will fight at least ten times as well on the ropes so fine as these. I'm gonna save just because I die or something. Welcome back, you lot. Well, what do you think? Things are pretty lively around here these days, aren't they? That's because I'm holding the most amazing contest in the universe, the Coliseum Series. Mayor keepers have come from all over the world to pit their best beasties against each other. It's the hottest ticket on four continents. Speak to Umpopo for all the boring details. I hope you wimps don't embarrass yourselves too badly. Hehe. <laughs> You came. Umbumpa has been waiting. Umbumpa is tired of waiting. But now is test time. It is time for the Solosium series. Here only the strongest familiars fight. The rules are simple. Umbumpa will explain. Fight familiars. If you win, fight some more. Then fight some more. Understand. The Solum series has six ranks. Rank E, Rank D, Rank C, Rank B, Rank A, Rank S. Six. Understand? Good. In any rank to get correct prizes and money. Did you hear that great big lump? Money, prizes! Is anyone else starting to get fired up about this? I guess so. It does sound pretty exciting, I guess. Do not forget, you cannot use items. In Solosium series, now it is time to begin. Let's give it our best shot. Uh, let's just start with us. Oh. <laughs> Good thing, because I would have done it. If you are injured, Umbumpa will hear you. Fight with all your might. Let's go. Go. <laughs> Round one, the <laughs> dwell. Looks like we'll be our first opponents. Don't understand just because we're small. Pokemon battle. The Dwell Dwellers. Is this it? Um... Here, I'll, I'll let Luffy here. I'll let him have some experience. That's pretty good. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Mikey, you do, you do all the work now. Can I go to Swain and, uh, <laughs> steal their stuff? Get 
So seriously, we're only little, you know. Now we have to walk all the way back to Digdon. Dex, you shall do battle against us. Babana bunch. We are the we are the Babana merchants of Almanon. We fight so that the world may know the delight of all things Babana. I hate Babana. I hate you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> Here goes. Wait, you didn't heal us! You didn't heal us! Focus on healing. Being healed in between rounds, I'm gonna focus on healing. Would you perhaps be interested in doing some proportional work for my banana so No! Get out! Ah, uh, it would seem we are to be your next exponents. Needless to say, the prize money on offer is a little of consequences to us. Rich people. Final round, the guild birds. But we shall nevertheless accept it should we win. We did not amass our fortune by looking gift horses in the mouth after all. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one Mikey likes. I'll be honest, that was a lot more difficult than I was expecting. <laughs> Impressive. How about you come and work for me as my bodyguards? I'll double, no triple your current salary. That's zero! 
I don't get paid. Uh, Salsium Slugger, awarded for winning your first bout in the Salsium series. You won rank E, well done, here's your prize. A Dragon Tusk. Good luck in next round. Okay, who can use that? Mmm, Dragon Tusk. Where is it? Oop, who uses it? Wait, is it? No. Oh. Uses claws. Jamal's the only one that uses claws. Alright, let's go. Save. Let's try D. Oh, rounds. Okay. You're injured. He will, I will heal you. Fight with all your might. Just go. <laughs> Round one. Grimalkin Reapers. Allow us to show you what Grimalkin are capable of. Prepare yourselves. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, oh wait, that's ours. <laughs> uh, that was horrible. Absolute horrible. Oh my, you're pretty good at this. It seems we are your next opponent's basket case. The Castaway Cover Girls. I imagine the sight of our outfits makes you want to go out to the beach, yes? Well, for defeat us and we shall think about taking you, hee <laughs> hee. I don't think we will get, we'll do that. Wait. Oh wait, we fully healed? I'll do my best! Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
got destroyed. I let everybody down. Hey, you lose. Oh dear, you were too busy thinking about the beach, I think. Idiot. Yeah. If it defeated. Terrain more in return. This is hard. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Well... At least we're fully healed, right? Okay. Alright, let's think of what next. Uh, I think we gotta do... The main quest now, or not the main quest, but close to it. Uh, quest. Don't I have a bounty? Oh, I guess that's it. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to go to... Casino. Hey, it's open. What does that say? I don't know. Welcome to the Crypt Casino. We're sure you'll have the time of your death. Hey, look. It's a friendly skeleton who gave us the key in it. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, he has a fancy head now. Haha, <laughs> you remember me? What an honor. You really had built a casino, huh? That's a really neat. Mwahaha, <laughs> thank you. It certainly is the greatest achievement of my death so far. I hope you all enjoy it all it has to offer. But first, a few pointers. We have four types of game here at Cook Cook Rip Slots, Black Jack, Platoon, and Double Cross. Playing these games wins you chips, and chips can be exchanged for some rare magnificent prizes. Some of them are so rare in fact, they c cannot be acquired anywhere else. <laughs> Alright, I think that's everything. Now, go ahead and have fun. Die a little. Wow, rude. Having fun, I hope. Some more top lyric can idle to live for, you know, good, good luck. My darling wife and I formed our eternal bond while playing double cross. A sense of achievement when we reach a goal of the same time. Why, it's the glue that c keeps us together. Will I tell you a little about how these slots work? Sure. Excellent. Allow me to give you the c -c crash c -c course in the fundamental of the slots. Basic idea in slots is to line up the symbols either horizontal or diagonally. You wager a certain number of chips, and depending on the combination of symbols you get, the amount you stand to win will vary. If symbols match, the chance meter will fill. And when the chance meter is full, the machine will enter mega mode. In mega mode, you stand to win double the amount each combination would normally bag you. You could change the amount of your bidding each spin at any point using left and right. It's up to you when you want to adjust your stake. All kinds of items will make appearances during the game and you will be able to use them at more or less any point. LB and RB to select an item and press X to use it. Items have a range of effects from slowing down time to boosting the chance meter. Just bear in mind you can only have a maximum of three items at any one time. Also, don't be afraid of the items you get, it will make more space for more. I should mention at the point that not all items have helpful effects. For example, there is only one, there's one that speeds up time. Their items are used automatically as soon as you can collect them, so beware. I'll take your time, and most importantly, enjoy yourself. <laughs> Winning big at slots is all about using one item at the right time. 
Let's go, lucky three. You don't have enough chips. Oh. Get chips. As a chip master. Oh dear, you have the look of someone experienced the pain of being wiped out in battle. We do not c concern yourself with the unduly such fretting will take the life on you. <laughs> in fact, you should feel free to defeat to be defeated as many times as you wish. Don't worry, I'll c keep coming counting. Oh, uh, thanks, I guess. No need to thank me, dear boy. It's my pleasure. Now, the number of wipeouts you have suffered so far is... 17! Crikey, you're really racking up those defeats. It's just I'm sorry one can't make a dying from losing. Welcome to the platoon table. Rules. Pay attention as I take you through the rules of platoon. Uh, it's your turn, think. In platoon, you're a delta total of 10 cards, from which you form 5 units. You'll then use these units to um, do battle. I think it's easiest if we start telling you about the two different card types, regular cards and special cards. Regular cards are from two to the queen. These are called pawns. The cards from two to nine are worth their face value, while ten jack queen are worth each worth ten. Okay. Special cards meanwhile come from varieties, kings, bishops, and wizards. More the important thing to say about kings is that if you have one in your unit, you will always win, regardless of the unit's total value. But if there are two units facing each other, both of which contain a king, the unit with the highest total value of regular cards will win. The bishop has the opposite effect, and any unit that contains one will lose. However, there is one exception to this rule. When the opposing unit contains a king, a unit containing a bishop will win. Wait. Oh, that's weird. If two units containing bishops face each other, the one with the highest value of regular cards will win, much like when you have two units king with kings who battle. Finally, let's turn to the wizard. Wizards can sw swap your unit with that of your opponent. Just beware that you cannot have a unit composed solely of a wizard, and that wizard card have a value of zero. Maximum number of special cards that can be included in a single unit is two. Addition. You cannot include a king and a bishop in the same unit. Are you with me so far? Now I'm going to give you the demonstration of how to divide ten cards you've been dealt into five units. To put together your unit formation, first select a card then choose a slot for it. Think carefully about whether you wish to form units with high values or make good tactical use of special cards. Once you form five units, it's time to predict a victor. This is where you place a mark on a unit that you think is going to emerge victorious. If you have doubts about the strength of your own hand, you can put a mark on an opposing unit. If your prediction proves correct, you'll receive a bonus of half your original wager on top of your winnings. Once you've predicted a victor, the next step is to decide who to go first. Each player will draw a card from the deck and then the player with the highest card will go first. With all the preliminaries taken care of, will be their time to battle commence. The player who starts will choose one of their own units as the unit which to do battle with. The units will then be revealed and victory will go to the one with the highest value. Should special cards be involved, the winner will be determined according to the rules I described earlier. Each player will then take its turns to select units and send them to a battle and the first player to register three victories will be the third winner. Did you get all that? No! <laughs> I know it sounds a little coffly, but if you give it a roll, you'll get into the swing of things. Oh, let's see if it gets. Let's go. All right. Give me up, well, when I'm here, whenever you feel like playing. Oh. It's a game of platoon. You're after this is the table for you. Talk to the dealer if you want to play. She stands next to me. Yeah. It's alright, pal. It's RIPs only through here. That means real important people, not you. Capiche? Okay. Welcome to Blackjack. Oh, I know this one. I'm going to take you through the basics of Blackjack, so clean out your ears. Blackjack, you complete with the dealer to see whose cards have the total the closest to 21. Ace cards, that's jacks, queens, kings, are worth 10, while aces can be either 1 or 11. 
the other cards are worth their face value. At the start of the game I will deal at both us both two cards. In the example above, your cards are a total of 14. Which is a long way from 21. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Alright, 7, wait. How's it 14? I'm bad. Okay. At times like that, you should ask to be dealt another card. You want another card? Select, hit, press A. Example above, you've been dealt another card. And your total's now 17. Important thing is not to get greedy and keep asking for more cards. If your total exceeds 21, you'll go boss and lose the game. If you're happy with your total, stand and compare it to the dealer's hand and select stand. The dealer's cards will then be revealed and then the hand nearest to 21 will win. If you manage to get a total of precisely 21, that's called blackjack. You'll always win with the blackjack unless your opponent matches it. Right, that's quite enough explanation for now. Let's give it a go, shall we? I hope we're listening. I don't have chips. Give me up, well, I'll come back later in another game soon. <laughs> How about that? Two blackjack sunrow. This is blackjack table. Speak to the dealer if you want to play. She's standing right next to me. Mwahaha. <laughs> ah, the deaths of the cursed game. Lost again. Why could we not stick to honest pillaging? Winning big at the slots is all about using items at the right time. You know my favorite game's always been Platoon. There's nothing like having Bishop and Wizard in your hand at the same time. Such a kick 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 Wait, are these ghosts? Who would have thought that the dead have such fabulous facilities? Perhaps dying isn't the end of the world after all. Hoping to win big, are you? <laughs> I'm just here to pass the time, personally. I do have plenty of it after all. You wish to try your luck at slots, do you? Then I must advise to choose the machine with the utmost care. Some machines drop chips as though they were no tomorrow, while others refuse to give even a step of a prize. Ah, another fine haul. This is much easier than Philozine, that's for sure. Hello there, I'm the witch in charge of Double Cross. Well, there's another rule. Ready to learn the rules of Double Cross? The ultimate test in two on... Twonus? Twonus? Unis? Both you and Esther will be put to a test as you traverse the peril collapsing walkway and try to make to the other side while falling off. <laughs> Before we get started, you get to choose the stage you want to try. There are more chips on offer if you're willing to risk one of the more dangerous stages. Once you select the stage, it'll be time for you to run the gauntlet, moving L, you moving L while Rester uses R. And two switches and the will appear, which can be used to cross the pit. Pedals will collapse in sequence beginning with those nearest to the start. This means there isn't really a lot of time for deliberation. Keep moving. The speed of which the pals collapse will vary depending on the stage selected. Partway across each pit will be a rest stop where you could get your breath. You're ready to continue stand on the two switches to create a path just as you did at the start. To complete the challenge you must both reach the goal and step on the switches there. I don't want to check you but I must tell you about failing the challenge. You, either you or uh, Esther should take a total the game is over and you will lose your stake. If you don't keep your wits about you, the challenge can be over in a battle of moments. So stay sharp. That's all I got to say for now. Try to enjoy yourself out there and be safe. Okay. We don't want to play anymore, perhaps another time then. Okay. I think this guy sells chips. Ah, I'm the cashier. If you want to exchange cash for chips or chips for prizes, I'm your man. What prizes are there? Uh, an idol? So I could technically just... Ripen. Serena says... Neat. Brown berries. I guess I'll take this.
Wait a minute. That's the other direction. Holy shit. Five gold per chip. Holy shit. Let's do... Forty chips. Okay, how much is this? Fifty? <laughs> Okay. Alright, play! Let's go! This is gonna be the most difficult one. Wait a minute. Uh, I already lost. <laughs> What's that good? How much do I need for this? Ten chips. Okay. Oh, I can just do up. <laughs> That's not good. Wait, we hit! <laughs> That's the wrong button! <laughs> ah, we lost it anyway. Alright, hit. Kidding me. Ah, oh, I would've lost anyway. <laughs> That's fine with me. Wait, I'm gonna put 20? I thought it got 30. Never mind. This is this is really bad. Like I'm gambling right now. 200. I wanna try okay, let's try slots. And I have 60? What the Each game once. Not gonna make this easy. Advance. What's this do? Oh. get anything good. Sounds like she has a wizard. Yeah. 
900, what the hell? <laughs> Oh. Let's go gab leg day. I just need 200, right? You're like, no. Yeah. Why not? 200 chips. <laughs> I was like, why is it so cheap? Okay. Keep stacking. Let's go. <laughs> okay. In. No. Good evening. Good evening. Thank 
Good evening. Cost what? Uh, <laughs> a few thousand coin investment. Good now I have enough money. To this game actually, I could strategize. It looks like. Bishop, okay, I was confused. I don't think I'm gonna win anything with this. Two wizards, right? Do this. Do, 
Do they always put Joker there? Wait, I don't know. I'm gonna test that out. Bishops work. Uh, Kings is that if you have one in your unit, you will always win. Shouldn't be putting bishops and everything else. Okay. Let me just go. I'll put a bishop here. That's a king, so king always wins. Oh, so I have to win, I can't draw. Alright. One more game. One more as in one more, uh, <laughs> group. <laughs> oh shit, I got shit. <laughs> Bishop? Why? How? <laughs> By itself, I'll put it there. 
open. This will lose. This will also lose, I'm guessing. And focus on these three to win. Good evening. I think this will win. Unless I go against the bishop or two cakes. you put the bishop as the winning card? Let's go! Wait. They put a bishop on the left. So I shouldn't switch cards there. Get my winner against your winner. Oh no! I lied. I'm gonna play one more. <laughs> I'm an addict.
Why would you predict that? Come on. One more, one more. So two jokers to get to use or just keep your card? That's cool. I just want to win three in a row. Four in a row. <laughs> Either of these has a king head done. Let's go. Oh man, it's a lot. Let's go. Ooh, two 
jokers. Seriously. this one more time. Uh, this one. <laughs> Since I have money. Let's go! Alright. Does that ghost hurt us? Oh, damn it, Dolver! <laughs> One more, one more. <laughs> to see, it's just one, too. so much. melting all right I'm done for now in case. Alright, save. Let's go! Okay. Good. Okay, all the way to the left. Or Castaway Cove, or if I, I teleport to let's go to Castaway Cove. Castaway Cove with us, 
would have been the better. Because the boat's right here, I think. That would have been uh, faster. You know, I think it's slightly longer. I didn't have to walk through land. Apparently that island east of Hamlin. Northeast, I think. Okay. Whew. Red eyes. They're like pink eyes. Oh shit. These are red eyes. What are those crabs? Like chukum? Last time I was going through the coast and there was like no way to maneuver between these monsters. Alright. We're safe. Alright, uh, since the star is there, I'm gonna face this way. Towards it. There. Alright guys, I'll end the episode here, and then next time I'm gonna hop off and uh, go to the Sky Pirates. Finally get back to the main story. Anyway, thanks for watching, see ya, bye!